name is Ash from the Twitch channel Safe Landing and today we're going to be looking at what you can do with the polluted germy water that comes out of your toilets. Yeah, I know. Welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Anyway, let's get started. The amount of food poisoning your dupes produce is relative to the quality grade of food you give them. So, meal lice, life loaf, mush bars, your early low morale food also causes the dupe to generate massive amounts of food poisoning, which leaves their body when they use the latrine or the lavatory. Now, this germy polluted water is toxic to the dupes if it finds its way back into your water supply, and simply running the water through their water sieve will make it clean water, that water will still be germy and quite bad for your dupes. Now the common consensus with viewers on my Twitch channel, if you can afford to lose 5 kilo of water a cycle per dupe, then just dump it somewhere and forget about it. But if you're in a low water seed world or you just can't afford to lose that much water, then you'll need to look at ways to kill the germs in that sewer water, allowing you to reuse it again and again and again. Extreme heat or extreme cold will kill the germs, and this automated blueprint looks at using a liquid tepidizer to quickly heat the water, which will kill the germs. And this also gives me an opportunity to show you how you can set up an automation grid that deals with chaining separate events together. Now, these events are filling up the tank. Then when the tank is sufficiently full, we want to shut off the input and turn on the tepidizer. And then when there's no longer any germs inside this tank, we want to empty the tank. Now let's get into the meat of it straight away. And start sorting through this chaotic pile of wires and... and, uh, and gates and sensors and, and, and everything. Now I want to start off straight away by explaining these... this area here. Now, technically, I only need one hydro sensor, but I put in two hydro sensors just to cover one of the quirks in the game where when you're filling up a tank with water, sometimes you'll get a bubble of air, one tile in size, that will form. Now if that happens to form over your hydro sensor, then that's it. Your system's broken, right? So I've set up a redundancy just in case that bubble of air forms over one of the sensors. All right now, uh, at the bottom, I wanted to activate at 1,010 kilos of water pressure. Now, it generally takes about three tiles up for that to happen. Three tiles up, we're looking at 21 tons of polluted germy water for, for that to fire up. Now, the second sensor, I've got it set to one kilo of water. So basically, as soon as uh, the water goes into the fourth tile of height, this will activate. Now, I've got these two sensors connected to an OR gate, which means only one of the inputs here has to be active or green or true for it to return uh, a positive signal here right now that comes over to this and gate which also requires a germ sensor now the germ sensor is active as soon as there is one germ in my tank right i've got it set to be active if above zero germs so as soon as there is one germ in the tank this will activate and send green as it is now so when both conditions are met this will send an activation signal over to the liquid tepidizer, which will turn it on. Now, from that, and I'll skip past this buffer gate because that deals with something later on. When this is on, this is green, this will come over to a not gate here, which will reverse the signal and send a red signal over into my liquid shutoff valve, which will turn it off. So, essentially, when the liquid tepidizer is on, the liquid shutoff valve is off. This will prevent any more water flowing into the system with more more germs, which will mean the liquid tepidizer will need to stay on longer and heat up that water, and then you get stuck in a vicious cycle. Right? So you want to be able to control that. Now, the liquid tepidizer will stay on until there's no longer any germs. As soon as the germ sensor stops detecting any germs in this tank, well, then it'll shut off. That'll shut off the liquid tepidizer. Right. At the same time, when it shuts off, it will send a red signal over to this NOT gate, which will return green over to the door, which will automatically open the door. Right Now, I need about 20 seconds for the liquid in this tank to flush out 
before I'm before I'm safe to start filling it again, which is why I've got this buffer. As soon as this goes from green to red, this buffer gate will keep on sending a green signal for 20 seconds. I've set it for 20 seconds. It'll keep on sending a green signal like it's still active for 20 seconds. And then it will return the correct signal, which is red which will come over to here as it is now and turn the liquid shutoff valve back on, allowing more germy polluted water to enter inside the tank. Right, and that's it. That's it in, um, that's it in a nutshell. Now, what you do with your non-germy polluted water afterwards, well, it depends on what you need it for. It is at, as you can see, about 80 degrees C, so it's pretty hot. Um, I would tend to run it through a water sieve right run it straight into a water sieve which will turn your polluted water into clean water and as a side note it will also spit it out at 40 degrees C which is still a little bit too hot for my base from there I'll run it into a thermo aqua tuner right um, which will drop whatever liquid temperature it's in it's in it will spit it out 15 degrees cooler right so from 40 it will spit it out at 25 degrees, which is perfect to just bring back into my base. Uh, now, I want to stress, this is something that you should only really do if you don't really have any other options. Just simply because it's so energy demanding that if, if you can get away with not doing it, then, then don't. But if you do need as much water as you can, this is an option that you can use. Anyway, I've run way longer than I normally intend to on these videos, so I'm going to end it short. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.